Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at eLive OS. It is a Linux distribution that does not get a lot of attention, but it is a very beautiful operating system. Before we get started, if you would, please like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Well, here we are, guys. eLive Linux. It comes with the Enlightenment desktop. It's 0.16.8. We will close out of that. And down here, you get your option screen to install, continue trying in the live mode, I want to make a donation, or restart the desktop computer. Configuration. I'm just going to pick two and enter so we can keep trying it. And right here, it gives you a list right off the bat of your hotkeys. And this is in the GNOME document viewer. And you can go through here and look at all the hotkeys and keyboard configurations that you have. We're going to go ahead and close out of that. As you can see right off the bat, you've got a dock down here. You've got an applications menu, audacious, shortcuts, drop to share. Shortcuts are for file system, VBox CD-ROM, home folder, documents, videos, downloads, temporal. We're going to go ahead and look at the file system real quick. And there's the file system. You can minimize it to a bar and move the bar around double click you can make it full screen there we go and it shows you everything in the file system all your hidden files bin boot dev etc home and then down here you got your eLive user desktop trash documents videos so it's got a pretty easy layout but what kind of options you got up here and let's look at about and this is the Thunar file manager in the enlightenment environment and it is 1.8.4 so let's close out of that and it does have a video I don't know why it has a video in it out of the box It's a six minute video. We're not going to go through that. Let's go ahead and close that out. It does have an introductory video that you want to watch. If you drop this into a virtual machine or download it and put it on USB, you can watch it. So let's go ahead and close out of the file manager. And as you can see up here, you've got the Conky. Right now, we are using 328 megabytes of the 1.97 gigs I have assigned to this machine. So it is a very, very lightweight operating system. So let's go ahead and open something up. eLive hotkeys. Let's put that up there. Now you've got 12 different desktops down here. You can go to the next desktop and do what you want there's your third one now if you go to the second set it's got a totally different background they have some beautiful backgrounds guys this is a very beautiful operating system i like it let's go ahead and open up the applications menu let's see what accessories it comes with editors you have gvim skype text editor vim you got file manager archive manager backups rosero recover deleted files thunar file manager unison bulk rename you got a calculator you got catfish file search disks fonts fs lint note kupfer onboard rx color code, screenshot, terminal, and XPad. In internet, you've got file management, Chromium browser, and it opens up automatically to a page saying Media Tools is a browser extension to detect all media. So that may be something that you want to download and install if you're going to use media. And then up top here, you've got your extensions. It's got uBlock Origin installed out of the box, so you don't have to worry about putting that in Chromium. Let's go ahead and close this out, and let's go to their website. And eLive claims to be fast, beautiful, and power operating system. And it says, do not renew your computer, renew your operating system. eLive may be the best Linux OS ever made and probably the only distro you'll stay with. But eLive is not for everyone. Are you the exception? And then you can come down here and it tells you it's virus protected, cost free, intuitive, super fast. You can try it before you install it. Applications, spyware free, focus. And then it's got a lot of different information. They have a pretty decent looking website. So if you want to download it and take it for a test drive, make sure you go to eLiveCD.org. That is their website. So let's close out of that. Let's go back over to internet. And you've got links to Net surf, nicotine, Silfeed, IX chat, sound, you got your regular web applications, Audacity, Audacious, Music Brains, Nicotine, Pulse Audio, Volume Control, Rhythm Box, Sound Juicer, Graphics, you get Illicit, Entice, Photo, E Ruler, you got GIMP installed out of the box, GT Cam, Digital Camera Browser, Inkscape, Shotwell, Office, you've got Abbey Word, Ghost Rider, Numeric, Personal Organizer, it's got some games installed, Education, Programming, Preferences, Admin Shared, Bluetooth, Elementary configuration file manager our configurator wonder if we can change our background can we right click there's themes let's try eLive dark that's pretty impressive I like that desktop background I guess you only get the background for whatever theme you're on let's try Detroit now let's open application menu okay so you get a darker look and it's transparent that's pretty interesting recent documents administration and it does have htop installed let's see what htop says we're doing htop says we're using 328 megabytes of the 1.97 gigabytes I have assigned to it 
it. And like I said, if you wanted to keep this open, all you got to do is minimize it like that, put it up here out of the way, and you can go back to doing whatever you want to do. Everything's really snappy, simple. Let's go to settings, print settings, screen settings, advanced network controller, laptop mode. So you got a laptop mode setting that you can go in here and adjust it so it'll work well with the laptop. We go to the help. That's our super keys that we've already seen. eLive is a pretty decent little operating system. It's quick. You can get stuff done. eLive is definitely a snappy little operating system. If you're wanting to check other distributions out that you should download, throw in a USB or put it in a virtual box and give it a spin. But it is definitely a good looking operating system. Well, guys, that was a quick look at eLive Linux OS. Run on over to their website, elivecd.org. Download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual box and take it for a spin. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Thank you for watching this quick video and I'll see you in the next video.